Welcome to the CKA Certification Series Part 20. In this video we will cover some debugging questions. The 22nd question is, you can find a pod named multi-container pod running in the cluster, take the container logs and the container ID of the C2 container, and save it into the below mentioned location. We have to save the logs and container ID to this location. After that we have to restart the C2 container and write the cluster events to the slash root slash event dot log file. Without further delay let's kick start. Let's list the pods. We can see a multi-container pods is running in the cluster with two containers. In order to see the container name we have to edit the pods. Okay, the first container in the pods is an engine X container, name is C1. And the second container is a busy box container, name is C2. Let's exit. Let's view the logs of the pod. You can see the pod's logs, but it is the engine X container logs, because if you do not mention the container name then it will show the logs of the first container. So, let's specify the container name. Okay, this is the second container logs, let's save this to the slash root slash logs.txt file. Done, next we need to find the second container ID, first we need to find node name. Okay, our pod is scheduled on node 01, so let's log into node 01. Let's list the containers. Please note, Docker command will not work here, so use CRICTL command instead. Okay, we can see all the containers that are running in node 01. Take the C2 container ID, and paste it into slash root slash ID txt file, please note now we are in node 01, so let's log out and go to the master node. Done. Next we need to restart the C2 container, and need to take the cluster events, so go to the documentation and search for cheat sheet. Search for the events. This is the command for showing cluster events sorted by timestamp. Just copy and paste to the cluster. As per the question, we need to save these logs after restarting the C2 container, so let's go to the node 01 again. Let's stop and remove the C2 container.
OK, container is recreated. Let's check the events now. We can see the container creation event here, just let's save this logs to the slash root slash events dot log file. Yes, we have successfully completed this question. Okay, sometimes they will ask for the events of the pods instead of the whole cluster, so I will show that. We need to get the pod name. By using this command we can get the events logs of the pods. Now we are seeing the event logs of the multi-container pod. Sometimes they will ask to save the commands that are used for showing the logs. So that time we need to save the command to a specific file. So just copy the command and save to the appropriate file. For example here I'm saving to slash root slash command dot txt. In the exam, you can expect a question for saving the command to a file instead of the results, so you have to read the question carefully. Okay, we have successfully completed the whole task. Thank you for watching this video. If you felt this video is useful for your preparation, then please do like and subscribe.